In this video, we will be installing the Flexco slider slash impact bed for light duty. Before starting the installation, we will confirm we have all of the components, mounting bolt kits, IOM packet, and all the required tools. Then once the conveyor has been physically locked and tagged out, we can begin the installation. Possible tools also needed are Flexco flex lifter, cutting torch, and welder. The first step in installing our impact bed is to locate where on the structure we're going to install the bed. With the help of our template, the holes in here mark the bolt holes where our, our feet will be off of our uh, cross members, and these two tabs represent the center of those cross members. So we're going to line that up on our stringer, and we're going to mark from a fixed point. that we will transfer to the other side. Mark our bolt holes. Now we'll transfer this to the other side and we'll be ready to cut our holes. Now that we have our holes drilled, we're ready to install our cross beams. To make that easier and lighter, we're gonna remove our impact rollers and lower the trough on the offside to allow the cross beam to go under the belt. The Easy Impact Bed comes standard as a 35 degree unit, but it does have a variable trough. It can go from 20 degree, 35, or 45 degree. To change the trough, we have our support arm has two holes, has a 35, 45 degree placement and a 20 degree placement. So to change the trough, we remove the support arm bolt move it to the corresponding trough that we are trying to set, and then take our wing plate and remove the wing plate bolt and put it to the corresponding degree of trough. We're now ready to install our cross beam. When installing your cross beams, you need to make sure the bent tab is always facing the tail fully, so any momentum is going into the tab. Before we tighten the bolts down, we're going to measure from a fixed point on the conveyor to the edge of our foot to make sure we've got our unit square. Before we tighten the hardware down on our second cross beam, we're going to use our template and the tabs to get the units square to each other. Now we're going to repeat this on the offside. Now that we have everything tightened down, it's time to install our impact rollers, followed by our impact bars and our ceiling bars. Install your clips to hold your idler in place. Now we're ready to install our impact bars. When installing the bars, we want to make sure the tapered end of the bar is always pointed to the tail pulley. When installing your hardware, you need to make sure it lines up with the bent tabs.
before tightening, you need to make sure that these bars line up with each other. You may run into an occasion where your belt has a little too much sag in it. It restricts you from being able to get your impact bars in. In that case, you can leave the trough down for easier installation of the bars. Make sure the leading and trailing idlers are a quarter inch above the impact bars. This is to ensure when the conveyor is not loaded, the belt is not constantly dragging over and prematurely wearing the bars. However, when the belt is loaded, the impact bed will be in full contact and protecting the belt. We've now completed the installation of Flexco's Easy Impact Bed.